What's up guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can make $100 per day trading on Binance. Now, the previous video, which I made like this, actually did really well and it went completely viral with around half a million views. Um, so I thought, why not? It's been three, four years now. Let's make an updated video. There are some new techniques, some new resources, some new things and new information that you could, uh, it could be very useful to know. And also when I made that video, my channel was probably a 10th of the size it is now. So maybe many of people, many of you people watching uh, at home now, you haven't in fact seen that video. So I thought it could be extremely useful so let's get into the video and basically I'm going to be breaking out down first of all going through some tips strategies and some personal advice that I have encountered when it comes to trading to make a full-time income or $100 per day or about $3,000 per month we're then going to go into some useful resources towards the middle of the video then towards the end of the video we are going to go into um, uh, actionable steps and ways that you can actually go ahead and trade to make this money so definitely buckle up get yourself a cup of tea or coffee whatever your poison is and enjoy the video because it's going to be a great one so guys a hundred dollars a day trading on binance let's break it down for a lot of people at home watching this could seem impossible um, however after this presentation and a little bit of information and going through the steps it's actually a very very attainable goal and you'll be surprised how easily you can get there you need to understand, first of all, before we get into this, you need to have a certain mentality. You need to understand that you will make bad trades. Even pro traders with decades of experience make losing trades. Focus on long -term on the long-term average of around 10 trades or so. Mindset is everything. So just keep in the back of your mind that not every single trade will be profitable. You have to focus on the average of say 10, 20 or 30 trades or the average of trades over a week or over a month. This is very, very important. A lot of new traders, um, especially when it comes to crypto because the market is so volatile, they come into the market and they get extremely put off or extremely discouraged simply because they make two or three losing trades but they don't know they could be on the cusp of making uh, seven or eight or even ten profitable trades in a row and this is very very important you have to have a strong mentality that doesn't mean throw money at it and, and hope that you make profitable trades no you have to be extremely disciplined and understand that losing trades are part of the trading experience it's like going through school and never failing a test of course when you go through school you will fail a test maybe some of you watching never felt any tests um, but most people like me I felt a lot of tests most people um, fail tests in school and that's just the same with trading you will fail if you do not follow this advice never trade with money you cannot lose if you need money for bills rent family or debt don't trade with it it's as simple as that guys too many people get themselves into way too many problems trading with money that they need. For example, they get their paycheck, uh, maybe $1,500, $2,000. $1,000 goes to rent. Um, however, they think, okay, if I just use this $1,000, rent's not due for another week. If I just use this $1,000, maybe I can trade with it, grow a little bit. Maybe it can become $1,300. Then that $1,300, I take the $1,000 out, I pay the rent. Then I have $300 profit. It sounds great, right? Well, this is an absolutely horrible technique and you're going to get burnt so freaking quickly. Um, you will probably do it once and then never do it again. So rather than do it once, that one time, take the advice from me and just don't do it at all. Any money you need, do not trade with it at all. Only trade with A, spare money, B, uh, and B, money that you can completely afford to lose. Let just the money you're putting into trading, just think in five seconds, if this money completely vanishes, am I okay? And if the answer is yes, then great, go ahead and trade with that money. But if the answer is no, then A, you're either trading with too much or B, you don't have enough experience uh, and you lack confidence. So you need to reduce the amount of money if you feel nervous. Also, don't be greedy. Greedy. Trading altcoins aim for around a three percent, three to six percent profit daily. Um, and if you're with leverage, it changes a little bit. You can you can um, aim for a slightly higher profit because it is with leverage. Realize that not every trade will be in the green, and you will be great. So Jack, how much do I need to trade with? This is a question I get asked almost every day in emails, Instagram, YouTube, everything like that. And I'm gonna answer that question today. Let's break it down. How much do you need to make $100 per day trading? Well, the ample, the, ample, the, the example and the, and the answer is extremely easy. Realistically, you need capital of around 3,000 US dollars to do this. Uh, and you may be sitting at home thinking, oh, let's leave the video, I'm gonna pause it, I'm gonna uh, quit the video, $3,000, I don't have that. 
Of course, you can trade with a lot less than that. Just if you want to make $100 a day, you're going to have to either make more profit or take more risks. I'm just simply being a realist. Uh, and, and this is the amount that comfortably you could make $100 per day. So 3% of $3,000 is around $90. That's if you make 3% per day. And 5% per day is around $150. Now, when I say make 3% per day, I'm not saying that you can go and make a trade every single day and make 3% every single day. No, one day may be 6%. One day you may lose 3%. The, the next day you could gain 7%. The next day you could lose 1.5%. Like it, it, it's an average. Not every day is going to be 3%. That is extremely unrealistic. You need to focus on your percentage profit, not your dollar profit when you start out. Too many people focus on, oh, I made $700 profit on this trade, or oh, I made $350 on this trade. I don't care about how much profit you made. I care about what percentage profit you made. You could be trading with $3.54 and make 100% profit and make that $3.54 back 100%. And I will be way more impressed with that than if you made, say, $300 from trading with $10,000. I will be way more impressed. You have to focus on the percentage profit. That's why it's fine to trade with small amounts when you first start. As you become more profitable, your capital can grow. Do not take stupid risks though. Trade defensively. Once you start trading uh, uh, each day, you, for example, you start with $3,000, $100 per day. Within a week, you're going to have around $3,700 on average if you can make this 3% per day. Then you need to decide, okay, am I going to keep using this increased capital to increase my profit or am I going to withdraw this capital and put it into my bank um, so I can have money to live from? You need to understand uh, and kind of understand what your goal is when it comes to trading. You need the right tools to trade with. This is incredibly important. Trading isn't easy. Uh, if there are lots of tools and resources that you can use to make your life even easier and more profitable, you better be using them. When I started um, trading, there was there was a quite a lot of resources, but nothing compared to what there, there is now available online. Now there is many books, audio, everything. It's completely crazy. So the tools to help you, of course, first of all, I have my own course. If you do like my videos, you do want to help support the channel, you do want to make profitable trades, I would definitely recommend going and checking out the Bitcoin Blueprint. Now, the Bitcoin Blueprint is basically your A to Z guide of making money online with cryptocurrency. It teaches you everything from how to trade, uh, how to go ahead and take profit, psychological things about leverage, everything like that, all into one package. And I really recommend checking it out on the link down below. It's going to give you information on everything you need if you're a beginner, if you're an intermediate or if you're more advanced, it's still going to have things in there for you to go ahead and make that $100 per day. Or let's say you're more advanced to make that $1,000 per day because this is very po po possible and we do have students already doing that inside the Bitcoin Blueprint. The Bitcoin Blueprint's been going for around three to four years now. We have many successful students and a thriving Facebook group. I really recommend checking it out if you did want to get more value than these free YouTube videos deliver. The trade calls. I offer trade calls as well where you can simply copy my trades. It's around... Um, 100 bucks per month, you can copy my trades, and make the same profit that I make. This is another great example. We have three commas as well. This is a, an external paid service. I, I don't own it or anything. I just um, promote, promote it because it's so great. Uh, three commas. Basically, what this does, it's kind of like a, an extra layer to your trading. It allows you to do things with your trades that you can't necessarily do on all the exchanges. For example, add a trailing take profit, add a trailing stop loss. I'll talk about this in just a few minutes time. YouTube videos, there is a complete plethora, so many videos out there that are completely free. If you don't want to, to invest in something, invest in yourself like the Bitcoin Blueprint, even though that will give you every single video in a step-by-step -step structured way so you can go ahead and start trading right now. Uh, maybe if you don't want to make that investment in yourself, you can go ahead and search for these videos manually on YouTube. Maybe you, not my videos, but other people you can find. Maybe they've uploaded them from a while ago and simply do that. That's how I learned a lot of stuff when I first started out and buying courses. Also, books and podcasts. This is incredibly, incredibly important. If you're not consuming all the data you can, uh, reading books, listening to crypto podcasts, then you're doing yourself wrong, guys. So let's see some examples. First of all, I'm going to get into a little bit about free commas uh, and show you exactly how that can work and how it's a great tool and a great asset to your trading arsenal. Then we're going to go ahead and move on to some examples with Binance and CoinMarketCap.
So now we're here over on three commas. And before we get into this about three commas, if you did want to join three commas and you were looking for either a great free membership offer or a discount, check out the link down below this video, guys. I'm always updating it with the best possible offer and bonus if there is any available at the current time. And if you're joining using my link, you're helping out the channel and it helps me to push more content like this that can be very, very useful. All these videos on my channel, completely free, guys. I just ask if you can use my links down below and it really helps support the channel if you do enjoy my content. Also, drop a like on today's video if you haven't already and subscribe for more of these videos. 3Commerce is basically a third-party software that links to your exchange. Yes, it's perfectly safe to link 3Commerce to your exchange. I link, in, I link it to Binance and Bybit um, personally and I have a lot of funds on there and I'm perfectly safe linking it to them because they cannot withdraw your funds. Basically, what it allows you to do is many things. For example, it has um, DCA bot, smart trade, grid bot, uh, options bot, trading terminal, everything like that. But the main thing that I like is it has a trailing take profit. What this basically does is it allows you to go ahead and um, you see right here that the level of take profit is there, which you set and trailing means it goes up as the price goes up. So uh, we can see right here, the price level will hit the take profit right there. And then it's got a 1% deviation. That means the price will go up. And then if it comes down by 1%, it will trigger and take profit. So rather than making 5% profit here, we made 9% profit because of this trailing take profit. And this is something uh, like I talk about in early in the video, if you're not using the right tools and things to help you make profit right here you could have made a five percent profit and most traders would have been absolutely ecstatic about this however if you're using the these services yes they are paid but of course if you if you can pay uh, to use a service and get an extra four percent profit per trade in this example of course you're going to use it because this is it's such a smart way this is a trailing take profit that the, the three commas have also they have a trailing stop loss as well we can see the stop loss is right here and as the price moves up, your stop loss is going to move up. You can see this red line here, your stop loss moves up. So when, depending on what deviation you set, rather than having your stop loss down here, as the price moves up, the stop loss moves up as well. So maybe you want to go to sleep, but you're worried about leaving your trade open. Maybe the market will come up here. It doesn't quite hit your take profit and then it will dump back down here. If you have a trailing uh, stop loss, this won't happen. You can sleep completely in. You can sleep completely in peace. And this is one of the great things about three commas. So, guys, if you haven't already signed up for three commas, there is a link down below, guys. I really do appreciate it using my link. It helps out the channel a lot, and it also makes me uh, more motivated to make these amazing videos, which help you out as well. So, let's go over to Coin Market Cap and have a little bit of a look for an example which we could trade. First of all, CoinMarketCap is a great resource you can use to go ahead and find these uh, different coins. And as I talked about in my last video or previous videos I've done, the easiest way is to simply go ahead and change the 24 hour time frame to the negative and see any coins that are down or maybe um, have been down a little bit. For example, right here, um, Decreed, FTX token or Nano, for example. Let's use Nano. It's a fairly popular old coin. Most people, if they like it or they don't, I, I don't mind. We're simply using it as an example in today's video. What you want to do is first of all load up Binance and you want to go over here and type in Nano and probably I'm going to use Nano USDT. First of all, you want to check the volume. Right here, Nano has a volume of around 3.5 million, I believe that is, um, in USDT in the 24-hour period. That's plenty. As long as we're seeing the volume above kind of like 500k, um, we should be okay, depending on what amount you're trading with. Obviously, if you're trading with a few hundred thousand dollars, which some of you definitely will be, I don't think that would be recommended. However, if you're trading with $3,000 like in today's video, then two, three, four, 500K, 24 hour volume is perfectly fine. What we want to do now is because it's not really so great to, to view the chart here um, on Binance, it's not really um, too comfortable and we can't really pull up so many indicators in a, a comprehensive way. Let's go over to TradingView right now, tradingview.com. This is a completely free website. This is the Bitcoin price right here. And we can just type in Nano USDT and make sure it's the Binance chart and pull that up. And immediately I'm on the four hour chart right here uh, and just taking a little bit of a look. If you are day trading, most likely you, you wanna be on the one hour, the four hour, the 30 minute chart, even the five or 15 minute chart. These are the best charts to look at. I wouldn't go higher than the four hour chart to be honest. Uh, and in this example, I can see something uh, quite clearly from here. And this is simply because I have uh, not a load of experience, but I have definitely four or five years of experience trading. I can see immediately that we are having some form of an, a um, symmetrical triangle forming here uh, like so 
we can see it exactly like so. We have, uh, to confirm this, we have two touches on the top or three touches on the top. You want at least two or three touches in these levels. Uh, down here we have one, here we have two, and again we have one there. So this confirms that we are in a symmetrical triangle. And usually when we do this, we take the uh, top level of the triangle to the bottom level, and we can set a price target from the breakout right there. And we have a price target roughly around here, about $6.90. So if we go ahead and put a horizontal line here at about $6.90, let's put a little green mark here for the take profit. We can see that if we took this trade, yes, it may not be a day trade in this example because it will be over a, a longer period of time. But look at this trade here. This is a 32% trade. Um, in, in a time frame, it could be two or three days. You don't have to, to, to make and close a trade in a single day. You could make a trade over two, three, four days like a swing trade, and that could count for a lot of profit over the period of that month. Or you could simply make one trade and it could cover the whole month, guys. That's how powerful trading can be. In this example, we found an example, in this example, we found an example. In this case, we found an example of a profitable trade in literally 30 seconds, uh, and I didn't even uh, go on this chart prior to this to search for this. This is completely crazy, actually. Uh, there's many, many examples of this. If you just go on to, to uh, CoinMarketCap, search for um, the 24 hours and see exactly what is coming up. One thing we do want to be careful about here is looking at trends. We can see that overall, we are trending downwards. We can see like this. Overall, there is a downwards trending channel, which definitely means we don't want to stay in this trade for too long. Yes, we could stay in this trade here and it could hit the profit right there, but then we don't want to continue the trade thinking, oh, it's going to go back up here to around $17. Most likely, it's not going to happen. Um, we just want to follow the trend until the trend is broken. For example, until we break probably around about between this level and around about this level, until we break this level, um, we can assume that the, it's still in some form of a downtrend. So that was an example of how you can go ahead and make a little trade. I really do appreciate you watching today's video, guys. Again, if you haven't already smashed up the like video, definitely do so. It makes me know, uh, it tells me that you want more of this style of content of video, and I'll keep make, making them and pushing them out uh, every day or every other day to help you guys out. Also, don't forget to check out the Bitcoin Blueprint, which will be linked down below. If you wanna start right now today trading professionally and profitably with all the videos there, for you to consume at once in a neat orderly fashion then go ahead and check out btcblueprint.com also the trade calls and don't forget to visit three commas as well thanks for watching today's video guys i'll catch you in the next one